What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Man, we have one of the most highly anticipated videos in a very long time to show you today. This is Foresight Sports FSX Play Golf Simulation software. Now this is a preview version. I want to point that out right in the beginning. Consider this kind of like a beta. There are a lot of features and settings and different things that they're still working on that they'll implement that you won't see inside of this version, but it's going to be excellent to show you the new user interface, the graphics, all right, all kinds of cool stuff, and that's what we're here to do today. So um, I can't tell you how many people have been asking about this and wanting to see it. I'm really excited to show it to you today. Make sure you comment below, let me know what you think, subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate you guys watching. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. I think I'm going to take my camera down so you guys can get a full look at this just amazing open user interface main screen here. I mean, look at how just rich and vibrant this is. You have a full live video in the background. You have people walking around the ocean, you know, hitting the shore. I mean, what an incredible hole that is. But they've also kept this very modern and clean. All right, it's simple. I like that. They just have three simple tiles, courses, practice and games. Games coming soon. I have a practice facility to show you. There are a couple courses available, um, but let's just go around the wheel a little bit here. You have your exit tab. I'm logged into FSX Live, so that's where you would do that. Um, upper right is your settings, things that you recognize, language, units, graphic settings, devices, all right, playing with quad, on-screen data, settings that you're used to seeing uh, in uh, FSX 2020. So pretty cool. They've kind of kind of implemented them, keeping them similar. Um, and it, it's just very, very clean and simple. I like that. Um, let's start off with practice, okay? So hit some balls in some of the most exclusive driving ranges. Well, not just exclusive, but just amazing. I mean, they've actually taken Paris out by, by the Eiffel Tower and created into a driving facility or a driving range facility. So they've also kind of taken things to make it very fast. If you just want to hit play, it'll take you right out there or you can go down to settings and more. So you can set up your player, all right? You can uh, select between a flat range or they actually have a driving range, which kind of has this multi-tiered facility. It's quite wild. Um, you can do your different weather, both, both basic and advanced. I'm pulling altitude right from my quad because it has a built-in barometer. All right, temperature, wind direction, all those type of things. Flybys are built in on all your different facilities and courses. It's a, it's a lower resolution video, all right, stored right in the menu, which is understandable. So just understand that when you're looking at the graphics and it gives you this flyby right inside the menu. I mean, I think that's really cool. They've also taken the opportunity to actually take snapshots and give you previews of either the facility or the course right inside the menu. I'm sure you guys are already noticing these uh, all new Unity graphics engine um, details are just just fantastic so course info is going to apply a little more for when you actually are selecting a course so we won't go over that we'll go over that in a minute when we select a course um, and then we're just gonna hit play it takes you to a loading menu that once again i mean look at just the full video movement um, just clean and modern looking i just like it a lot it shows you your settings down at the bottom but before you know it you're loaded I mean, it, it moves incredibly fast, um, so it's all good to see. So here you are with your all new graphics out in Paris, staring at the Eiffel Tower. Um, if we just kind of go around the screen really quick so you guys can understand everything that's going on, your little hamburger menu allows you to uh, take you back to settings. Okay, so understand that. And then you can also exit back to your main menu. The upper right are all your features. So if you wanted to see your last, you know, uh, ball shots and club data, you can do that. Green, um, probably not going to use this much at a practice facility, but that, that where you zoom up to your pin and then it kind of drops the balls down to show you the undulation. Okay, replay is exactly what it is. That replays your last shot. But check this out, video settings. You can change brightness, saturation, and contrast. Okay, and I know that some people may be using projectors that need a little bit of a help, you know, jam that contrast up, whatever it may be. Well, you can do that now. And I think that's really cool they've done that. You hit the relocate button, it's gonna allow you to relocate. It has a slider off to the left, which is very simple to use. I can just slide right up to a, you know, whatever type of distance I want. Let's say I'm, I'll, I'll do 140 yards. I mean, I've been messing with this the whole time and I need to swing some more uh, clubs is what I need to do. But let's just drop the ball there. Um, that, that's all your data points you can select from, all right? Uh, over to the right, if I wanted to, I could just right click and drop my ball anywhere I right click on the mini map. I just want to point that out before I move on. You can hide the mini map if it's in your way, it shows you the wind. 
Um, and then down the bottom, this is where you have these quick data tiles. It's going to display six different data points that you can select and you can either hide it if you just don't want to look at those data points or you can adjust it. I kind of like this medium setting. And then you can see here where you can actually select all of the different parameters that you want shown. You can display averages and accuracy or not. All right. So a lot of options there. I mean, look at the graphics, just super sharp very detailed. Um, I'm sure you guys can just see how far they've come with this. Um, I'm going to open up my, my video camera uh, back inside the simulator here and I'm going to grab a nine iron and I'm going to see if I can actually make a golf swing after uh, getting all of this set up and everything. What I do want to show you is if I hide the ball, it's now going to show a GC quad with a hitting area right up on your screen. I think that that's nice to show the user that you're not ready yet and shows you where the ball is locked into. So uh, pretty cool that they have that. Let's see if we can actually make a golf swing here. Not terrible, <laughs> not great. It did felt like a tired golf swing, but it's right down uh, the line. I'm mean, holy moly. I can't do that again if, if I tried 20 times. I just uh, took a nice soft swing there and it worked out really well. Holy moly. Um, all right, I'll hit one more for you guys here just to prove that I can't do it twice. Still drawn in there decent. All right, not too bad. Those are a couple good shots, I'm not gonna lie. I can't throw that down all the time. Maybe I just need to swing softer more often. But what do you guys think? I mean, uh, I have the traces being left on there. You can see it kind of goes into a fade now. Um, I think that's really cool. I have my room configurations all set up, so it's taking off right where it's supposed to on the screen. I love that. I feel it's like it's very immersive. They've always done that with their room configurator tool. You measure from the front of the quad to your screen and then the dimensions of your screen, and that tells it where to take off when the ball hits the screen. Um, and that's just very immersive. I like it a lot. So um, this is your Paris, uh, you know, practice facility, and you can change it up and move it wherever you want. Um, you know, if you want to, you want to do chipping or putting, you can do that. Just right click on the mini map, and it's going to take you there. All right. So just understand that I can go right up on the grid if I wanted to. Obviously, my tracers are still on. You know, it's because I left left all tracers on. Um, if I wanted to go to relocate and I wanted to zoom back out and hit drivers from 300 yards, I can do that. All right, so I obviously have my uh, my aim off a little bit there, um, just because I was manually doing things. But you can do that. I just think that it's fan it's it's very adjustable, um, very easy to use. Um, so just just know that it, it's a fully usable you know uh, practice facility. All right. If I go up here into the menu, this is where you actually pin things. Um, so if, like if you, you wanted to click a bird's eye view, and that's something that you use a lot. All right. You can do that and you can actually just pin it. So I'm going to unpin green and pin bird's eye. All right. So that's how you do that with the different pins and everything is, uh, you know, things that you would use, you know, whether you want to take the grid off of a green, you know, things like that. All right. So now that we've shown you this practice facility, I hope that's a really good, you know, first look preview at everything. I think it's time to go play some golf. All right. I'm going to exit this. It's going to take me out here. And I'm going to go to courses. And we have the Blue Bayou, we have La Hala Pines, and Pitch and Putt. All right, obviously, we don't want to make this a you know 45 minute video, so I'm going to go to La Hala Pines. All right, I'm going to go to settings and more first. Um, and I'm going to select blue tees. I think that's realistic for me. I'm going to go to setup, and I'll just leave this uh, pretty much the same. Um, I can go to advanced if I want to. You can uh, obviously there's whole selection there, um, and then there's rules. You know whether it be pin placement, you know putting modes, gimmies. Um, you know I, I'm gonna go with six foot gimmies. I mean I, obviously we can show putting. I doubt I'll be hitting too many within six feet. I mean hopefully based on those last shots. But um, weather, okay. Obviously we'll just leave that standard. Flyby. I wanted to show this to you guys because obviously it was a flyby of a practice facility but they have some flybys that they'll actually show you of the course. All right. And then uh, photos, they'll have all kinds of photos. So you'll have a preview of what the course is going to look like. All right. Course info is a really cool one because you not only have like location and altitude when it was established, the holes, par, slope, yardage, rating, all that stuff. You can see your T details really easily. And then you can see every individual hole. 
So if you if you didn't know the course well and you want to just pick a couple practice holes, you can do that so easily by looking at them all. And it tells you all those individual yardages, but you know, based on every single tee. All right, just very cool stuff. So let's just jump right out there, hit our play button. So I just need to grab my driver and hope that I'm a little warmed up because uh man i hope i can hit some shots like i was hitting out there on the the practice range but i haven't hit a driver yet so um notice when you restart you will want to select how you want your data to display um, i'm probably going to just shrink it down a little bit no reason to have it too big when i'm out here on the actual course um i will say why don't we just do a flyover really quick um, you guys got to, you know, get a good view of what these new Unity graphics look like, what a flyover looks like. I will say that the details of the trees and different objects, you can really see how crisp they are. I think they've done a great job. I think I've, I've played this course before. And if you look at the bunker layouts, tree locations and everything, it's a very good representation. All right. So um, it has me 268 out there. It's a little bit of a dog leg to the right. Um, I would love to be able to hit just maybe a little bit of a cut around there if I could but honestly a straight ball will do me really well it seems locked in there as long as I don't carry it too far towards that bunker to the left Let's see if we can throw maybe just a tiny bit of a fade on this oh I think I cut it way too much that could be trouble I could show you guys your first sand shot. No, oh, it ended up up on the grass. Notice the grass uh, used to all be like the same blade of grass. And now they have it looking more realistic with the different you know, types of textures and everything. Um, you can see the detail around the bunker. Uh, sand looks different now. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of different looks. So what do I have here? I'm in the rough 151 yards. I'm probably going to try to hit a soft eight iron. Now, if I wanted to, I could come over and I could look at a bird's eye view of my shot. It's going to zoom out. And then I could also do a zoom up to the green. And it will even do the ball drop to show you the undulation. Okay, so understand that there's multiple things available there. All right, you can see that's kind of a uh, all coming towards the front. Ah, oh, man, it's a skinny front of the green there. I'd love to just hit a little fade to take a little bit off of this. But honestly, I just don't mind hitting a straight ball. Tiny bit of a draw. Oh, it could be really good, though. Oh, bounce to the right. Kicks way to the right. All right, it's perfect, though. I'm going to be able to show you guys putting. So let's go ahead and grab our putter. This is a birdie putt. I think it's cool how they have that now. Um, what do I have it? Running right to left, then left to right. Well, this is interesting, but it's more left to right. It's seven inches downhill, 10 stimp, which is similar to my turf. That's what we selected. Um, so I'm probably only gonna hit this for about 12 feet. And I'm thinking I'm going to aim just a little bit left because it's going to break to the right on that second half. I just needed to get it there. That was the line. See the gimme circle? It shows you where the six feet is, wherever you're going to select it. I think it's cool, um, you know, that you get to kind of get a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, and there we go. Hole number one. I mean, we part it. I'm not going to complain with that. Uh, let's play another hole here. I think we'll play three holes. We have uh, two par fours and a par three is uh, how Torrey Pines plays. It's the first three holes. I think that'll be a perfect little preview for you guys. And then maybe we'll jump out and just kind of show you the other courses. That was low on the face. Could work out though. Yeah, it was just poorly struck, but it's gonna work out. That is gonna work out. Well, you know, when you've been tinkering with things as long as I have today, and uh, it's been a long, well, it's late at night too. 
I'm getting this video knocked out for everybody so they can get a preview. 96 yards. Man, it's almost in between for me. I think I'm going to club up and just not swing as hard and hopefully get it to check on the green a little bit. Oh, bad shot. You guys are going to see putting. Bad approach shot. All right. I think I burn all my good shots out there. Uh, this is a birdie putt. Yeah. Can't be uh, too disappointed with that. So it's breaking to the left, then the right. I mean, with that much break to the left, I feel like you almost go right at it. Maybe just a tiny bit left. 49 feet, though. 20 inches uphill. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if I can get this. Uh... Wow. Really going to have to to hit this ball. I mean, I can't do better than that from that far away. I'll tell you what, um, I have no complaints at all. No complaints. The only thing is, is turning the gimmies on. I wanted to speed it up, but I wanted to show you guys the putting with the cup physics and the ball, you know, characteristics and everything. So maybe we'll jump out on one of the other holes and uh, show you guys what the putting looks like, or we could even go to practice. So this is 160 yards. It's 47 feet downhill though. So I'm probably just hitting like a light eight iron, I would think. This is one of those holes where I feel like I should give you guys another, another little uh, flyby. So let's do that. I mean, you're looking, you can see, you see San Diego, you know, over there in the far distance on this hole. I mean, uh, it's, it's really incredible, right on the ocean. All right, I'm hoping all these really fast frame rate images are gonna, you know, upload to YouTube without too much compression. Um, it looks obviously very sharp uh, on a 4K monitor. 160 yards. That is not gonna be the shot that I wanted. All right. Missed the green. A little chip and a putt. Let's see what we can do here. Now, what you can do when you're not on the green, and I have it as one of my little hot buttons, is you can just go up here and hit grid. All right. So now I actually have the grid. Let's say I wanted to see a little more. You don't need those data points there. We'll just hide them. Just bring them down to the bottom. All right. 18 yards. Breaking hard to the left. Probably need to land this 45 feet or so and let it roll out. Look at that. Not bad. Another par. I'm really not complaining about this for how some of those shots really didn't work out that well. Um, but some of them did. All right. So what I'd like to do now is, is now that you guys have seen Torrey Pines, maybe we'll do a a quick flyover of this hole for you to show you. All right, see the ocean down there? Um, you know, very, very realistic, you know, water, very realistic, you know, uh, tree placement. Really like what they've done here. Um, this gives me the feeling of, of Torrey Pines. Like I said, I've played this course and, uh, you know, the rendition with where they have things placed. Um, I really think that they have, have done a very good job. Um, I'll skip a couple holes so you guys can kind of get a feeling for some of the different things. If I see something in particular, you know, we can always do a quick flyby, but there's a cool one there where they have the stands put up. Like I said, I mean, this is home of US Opens and, and celebrity pro-ams. And um, I mean, it's had all kinds of uh, just amazing, you know, PGA Tour. Look at this. They have uh, the stands behind here on this par three, 11th hole. All right, let's see if we can just do a quick flyover of that. Very, very cool. Awesome. Yeah, I try to show you guys as much as I can without dragging things on too much. So let's just go ahead and jump out really quick. What I wanted to do is, is I wanted to show you guys the short putting to, so you can see like the cup physics. All right, so um, first thing I'll do, I think, is I'll just show you Blue Bayou just because it's a different course. So let's just go ahead and do a quick play. We'll jump out there really quick. 
Um, I'll skip through some holes. It will just be a good opportunity for you guys to see the different graphics. Like I said, when we're doing a first look video like this, I'm just trying to show you what things look like. Um, so let's just go ahead and go up here. You can see obviously this first hole. Here's your second hole. You get to see some good details. All right, third hole. And if you guys have played or seen this on FSX 2020, it's just a good representation of just how much detail is now available. Um, there's a little part three. What if we just did kind of like a little flyover of it just so you guys can see. Very cool stuff. All right. And, you know, I don't know if I selected, why don't I just play this hole for you guys really quick. I don't think it, it doesn't default to have gimmies. So I should be good to hit this up there for you guys and uh, then be able to show you putting right, right into the cup. Draw in a little bit. All right, I'll take that. A little seven iron. Now I can get my putter out and I can show you guys putting right down to in the cup, okay? A little bit of break left to right. Once again, like I said, when you're here, if you don't want your data, you wanna see a little more of that grid, you can do that. Let's go ahead and shrink it down. You can see your ball and everything really easily. So something good to point out there. So 17 feet, two inches uphill. So it's playing almost 20 feet. Aiming a little bit left. I love how I can aim right in the sim with the quad. Reads it perfectly. At the right speed. Oh, but you know what's funny is, is gimmies are still on. So I'm not able to show you guys the cup physics um, because the gimmies are still on. But that's that's easy to uh, to demonstrate for you because what I'll do is, is I'll just exit really quick. You guys have been able to see Blue Bayou. We've you know we've seen all kinds of different stuff here, which is really cool. Um, even got to play a quick hole out there. You can see it gave me double bogeys on uh, on all the holes I skipped. But what we'll do is I'll be able to show you the other practice facility and I'll be able to go up and uh, show you guys putting. Okay, so let's just go practice. Let's go back out to Paris, all right? Oh, and you know what? I didn't select the other uh, range though, but that's okay. So let's just load up really quick. I mean, it loads so fast. Um, I can easily just exit game really quick and then go back in and just select the other practice facility really quick. I mean, I'll tell you what, that, that load time is uh, is just fantastic. So go to setup and we'll go to driving range and then hit play. And so now it'll take us out here. I'll take you guys up to the green and I'll hit a couple putts, uh, hopefully into the cup. And that way you guys can see the new, you know, cup characteristics, the, you know, the, the, the cup physics, if you will. Um, so I'm gonna go to, uh, uh, where are we at? Relocate. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to go all the way up to, let's just go, what is that? Five yards. So it's 16 feet. I can see if I can make a couple of those, but what I really can do is, is I can just go to a four foot or five foot putt, which is really nice because I can just right click right on that mini map. That's how I did that. All right. So four feet, 10 inches, perfect short little putt. I like playing with no gimmies. It's challenging. Check this out. I'm going to aim just a tiny bit left. You can see it's just breaking a little bit left to right. There you go. So cup goes, or uh, the ball goes right into the cup. I mean, it's it's a very, you know, detailed uh, hole entry, I think. Um, obviously, they have a really good sound. I know that sounds funny, but, um, you know, there are, you know, golf simulation software. I feel like they could do a little better, better job with, uh, you know, the sound of the ball going into the cup. And I think they've done a good job with that. There you go. And see how that one kind of hit kind of the left edge. All right. So you got to see how that goes. Now, maybe I'll try to yip one a little bit and, and see what happens if I catch the edge. So let's do that. All right, I wasn't able to catch the edge, but you were able to see how, uh, I mean, it's not gonna jump in the hole if you don't, don't make it. So I'll hit this one a little bit harder, but I'll hit it pretty straight. 
There you go. See how it grabbed it and went in there? Um, I feel like those, those cup physics are very realistic. They did a very good job of updating those versus FSX 2020. These are the little details that I'm going to try to, you know, get into the software, dive in and be able to show you guys. All right. Because like I said, this is a first look. This is the preview software. I'm just getting acclimated with it. I hope that this was, you know, good for you guys to where you could get a good feel for everything. The graphics, you know, we hit some different shots. Um, like I said, late at night here, and we still wanted to dive right in to get you guys this preview video right away. So let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned because there'll be a lot more coming soon. Take care.